Uh, hey, YouTube, it's Steve from Tower Genius. And um, I had a, an opportunity in the last, uh, I guess, two weeks or so <laughs> to have an ongoing conversation with uh, one of the folks that works at one of these uh, rent reduction uh, lease optimization companies. I'm not going to say if it was, you know, Black Dot or MD7. You know, there's, there's a handful of companies in the United States that work for the carriers and for the tower companies. And it's these. Uh, it's the job of these companies, uh, the employees there, to uh, make cold calls, send emails and um, letters, and um, you know try to get the the, um, the cell tower landlord to take a haircut, right? To take a rent reduction, and um, you know. So the question is, uh, and I spent, you know, I had, I had several uh, emails back and forth. And again, we've been dealing with these types of companies for over 15 years here at Tower Genius, right? With these uh, rent reduction companies. So we kind of understand the game that they play <laughs> more than the average person, let's say, okay? Um, but the question is, you know, are cell tower rents going up or are they coming down or are they going to stay the same? And um, gosh, this, this person I spoke to, and I, I let this guy talk or gal, I'm not going to say if it was a guy or gal, this individual, this this person, uh, I let them go on for, you know, a good half an hour and try to convince me, you know, <laughs> what was going on in the wireless world. Now, at Tower Genius, we talk um, a lot about, we really believe that a lot of the urban rooftop cell sites, I've said this ad nauseum, we believe that a lot of them, most of them, many of them, um, you know, in, in places like New York City, LA, in the urban jungle, right? A lot of those, most of those, many of those rooftop cell sites will eventually go away. They'll be replaced by small cells, 5G, 6G, whatever. Once these things, um, you know, and the, the cell sites are getting closer to the ground, right? Ground level, they're not up high. But in these areas where in a public right of way, where, where Verizon or T-Mobile or AT&T, whoever can put a cell site in a small cell and only pay $270 per year and they could, you know, and they're paying, let's say they have a macro cell site with whatever, AT&T or Verizon has a macro site, let's say in Brooklyn or wherever, New York City, uh, where they're paying, let's say on a mature site, they're paying 5,000 or 4,000 a month, and they could replace that with a few small cells. Why would they keep paying $4,000 a month, right? Or 5,000 or $6,000 a month on a mature cell site, right? That's increasing in rent by 4% a year. Wouldn't they just you know, have a few small cells uh, and pay the 270 per year, right? So uh, the carriers, again, they've, they've lobbied Washington, D.C. Now, the, the folks at these rent reduction companies, they want everybody to think that their sites are going away. You know, the farmer in Kansas, you know, in the middle of the cornfield has a tower with American Tower and or Crown Castle, whomever, with Verizon or you know, they have a single carrier uh, tenant there and, and they're trying to convince you uh, to take a rent reduction. So, and our philosophy is, hey, if, if, you're, if your site is eventually gonna become obsolete because of technology advances, it doesn't matter if you give them a rent reduction, they're still gonna take that site down eventually, right? So um, right now, even though like, you know, the, the lease buyout, uh, market has changed a bit, right? And um, money is not being thrown around as liberally as it was a year ago. You could still sell these things, right? These lease buyout companies are still buying these leases like drunken sailors, spending money on them. And you could sell them, uh, even with a right of first refusal, you'll, you'll get less money, but you can still sell these things. They're buying them, right? So at some point that's going to change. I don't know when it's going to be, three, four, five, 10 years from now, but eventually a lot of these urban sites are going to go away. A lot of the lease buyout companies that are holding portfolios of rooftop sites, you know, they're, they're going to go, you know, the way of the dodo bird. It's going to be like uh, Enron, okay? They're going to be gone. But um, you can transfer that risk if you, if you sell it, you know, and um, do something else with that money. Buy something else, do a 1031 exchange, whatever. I can't give advice on that, you, you know, talk to your CPA. But these lease buyout companies want you to believe that cell tower rents are not going up. And we're gonna look at, look at you know, some of the things that they're, some of the arguments these companies make, right? So they're saying that cell tower leases are coming down in valuation. 
yeah, I disagree with that. I don't think they're coming down in valuation. Uh, only if you, you know, drink the Kool-Aid are they coming down in valuation. Um, and, you know, they said that the trend, this is what they're telling property owners. The trend is that property owners are taking modifications in their use provisions. And there's really no good reason to do that. If they want you to modify your use section and your lease, that only benefits them, not you. Maybe the, the trend is that, you know, maybe it's possible that property owners are getting bamboozled to change these things, but it's, it's certainly not in your interest. And I don't think most property owners are actually doing that. Um, they're telling you that the goal is for the, your sell site to remain in their portfolio if you take a rent reduction or if you modify the use, like you, you do like a right of first refusal or something. And that's not the determining factor for why a sell site remains a network. It says, does it provide the coverage that they need or not? Has nothing to do with whether you take a 30% rent reduction. So that's not true. But this is again, what, what I was told I was trying to have this person convince me of why I should recommend to my client why they should take a 30% haircut, right? Um, so um, what else did they say? Um, you know, they, they need to have, um, you know, they say when they consider their leases, you know, where they're going to keep a site, does it have restrictions or no restrictions? And they need to bring it in line. Again, has nothing to do with that. It has, you know, does the site meet the coverage objections? I've seen, you know, sell sites in Long Island that pay $14,000 a month. Um, I've, I've seen, you know, tower company uh, owned sites that pay, you know, over $15,000 uh, a month uh, again. So we're not gonna go into details on those, okay? But there are some sites that are just over, you know, they're way, way, uh, higher rent uh, amounts being paid because it meets the coverage objectives and they, they have no way of moving these things, right? So um, also, you know, some of the um, some of the things here that, that this person was, was talking about was, um, you know, when, when they have a landlord that doesn't want to work with them, then they send it back to, you know, to, to their, you know, to the real estate managers at the carriers, they let the algorithms decide now <laughs> i really try to keep a straight face when this person told me that algorithms do not decide you know whether a cell site gets you know stays stays in the network or not a, a radio frequency engineer um makes that determination if it, if it meets the coverage objectives um another argument that was made was you know and this is with a t-mobile or an at&t or a verizon site that they could they have a lot of um sprint sites that were decommissioned that are now free that they can utilize. Again, uh, the carriers, AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, these companies, uh, everybody is, you know, apparently struggling, except for their CEOs, of course. But, but, you know, they don't have the budgets to move these sites if they don't need to. They're not going to move a cell site over, you know, a couple hundred dollars a month in rent that you didn't, you know, give them a, a discounted price on. They're just not going to move it. They don't have a budget for it. Um, let's see. Um, another argument that was made was most people are taking part in this rent reduction program. That's just baloney. That's not true. And, and you know, I know they said it to me with a straight face. Um, and, again, this, this person... Uh, who's been with this rent reduction company for two years now, um, you know, told me with a straight face that there are no higher prices. And I beg to differ with them, but I let them make the argument there are no prices that are higher. They're not going to pay higher rents. They're not giving rent increases. These prices are all coming down. Well, again, I have to disagree on 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 every single point that, that you know, that this person gave me uh, about a dozen uh, talking points, right? I guess their script that they were reading off of, and we can blow holes in every single one of them. The truth is every single cell site is, uh, the rent value is going to be determined on a site by site basis. Um, Tower Genius has helped countless property owners that have been approached with these, uh, lease, um, rent reduction offers and programs from the carriers. And I have yet to see a cell site be moved, period. 
you know. Now, there is consolidation with, you know, the different um, uh, mergers and whatnot that have happened, and, and that does happen from time to time. But again, that's, that's when, when, there is a, um, when there is a merger, you know, it happened with Metro PCS and T-Mobile, it happened with Nextel and Sprint, it's happening with T-Mobile and Sprint, it's happening, you know, again, with, with, um, with like Cricket and AT&T. So when these companies get bought out, yeah, some of those sites do go away. So if you're concerned about that, just sell, get rid of it, buy, you know, buy something else, get a, get a rental property uh, with the money. Um, but if you, if you are just um, giving a rent reduction to the carrier or the tower company because you're afraid that if you don't do it, that they might decommission your site. That's just, that's, it's, it's not going to happen. There's a 99.99% chance that they are not going to move that site because they don't have a budget to do it. And it's a huge, huge hassle. Um, if technology is going to change drastically, uh, where, you know, your site is going to become obsolete, it doesn't matter if you give a rent reduction, it's still going to go away. Okay. So, that's just uh, the bottom line. That's it's our opinion. Um, we're usually, you know, right spot on with our opinions here, Kevin and I uh, here at Tower Genius. Uh, we've been doing this for 15 years um, as consultants, 15, I think 16 years now. But um, if you have questions, give us a call at 888-313-9750. So are cell tower rents going up or down? Uh, if you work with Tower Genius, chances are, you know, the rents are going to be going up, not down. So hopefully that helped.